Hey guys, Jarek here, and Komodo's back for some more Halo 4. This time we're going to be doing some big team Infinity Slayer on, uh, the name of this map is Serenity, and it actually really reminds me of kind of like an altered version of, uh, of Blood Gulch. At the beginning of this video, there's going to be a lot of lag dropping in and out and host migration and stuff like that. It happened literally a good four or five times. So, uh, be aware that happens, but it eventually does get solved. And I didn't do a whole lot on this Warthog at first. I really didn't. Uh, this didn't end very well. There's a, this is where their whole enemy team started going. I had no idea who to shoot. So I just kind of started running into everyone. Didn't end well at all. So yeah, using the DMR, and if you're about to say, oh, you're a faggot for using the DMR, uh, it's been patched, and the DMR is definitely not quite as easy to use as it was before. They toned down the auto-aim, they made the battle rifle stronger. Uh, the battle rifle is definitely the better weapon now. Uh, it's just by a little bit, it's a better weapon, but it is no doubt a better weapon, and all the host migration really was getting annoying at this point. <laughs> We kind of got thrown into the middle of a game, and this tends to happen a lot when you get thrown into a game. Their matchmaking system is, I'm just going to be honest, Halo 4's matchmaking system is shit. And uh, really does need a lot of work. So, uh, it was a little bit slow at the beginning of this game, but I promise you it does pick up. And uh, let's go on to the questions. There's not much more to talk about involving Halo, so let's just uh, talk about random questions I keep getting. So what do you think of Call of Duty Ghosts? I have a lot to say involving this, and none of it is positive. <laughs> I'm just going to be completely honest here. What I saw on the release of, or not the release, but the like reveal of the Xbox One where they were showing Call of Duty Ghosts. First off, it's not a new engine. It's an updated version of the engine they already had, which Infinity Ward has come out, came out and say. And it's cool that we're getting better graphics, but let's be honest, this engine still looks worse than Crisis 1. I mean, it doesn't look fantastic. It's good to have an update, I'm not going to lie, but you know, don't blow this out of proportion. It's barely that much of an upgrade. Uh, if I may. Now, I have to say that a lot of the thing... What the hell? <laughs> there was a lot of lag. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, a lot of the things in the recent Call of Duty games, they look they look okay. They Oh, that guy's screwed. <laughs> <laughs> they look okay. You know, they look kind of... Kind of true to life. But what they really have not gotten well is everybody looks like they have like cartoon faces everything looks very very cartoonish when it comes to call of duty in general and you know i see call of duty and i laugh in general because they try too hard this is the try hard game they make it like oh look at this super serious military type game and it's not it's an arcade shooter that's what it is why are you trying to hide it as a serious military shooter it makes me laugh and it makes me roll my eyes it's half the reason i hate call of duty single player and what I saw in Call of Duty Ghost in the trailer, it was nothing new. I saw explosions, I saw teammates yelling at you to go over here and do shit. I saw the same crappy single player we've gotten in Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4. Now, I'm going to say a very unpopular opinion here. Call of Duty 4 single player was terrible. I'm going to be completely honest. I do not know why people liked Call of Duty 4 single player. It was better than the other Call of Duty single players. With the exception of maybe Black Ops 1. I was kind of indifferent towards that, but it's still kind of... Lean towards the direction of spawn and bunch of enemies, have teammates yell at you, kill enemies to progress, very linear slideshow of explosions. But Call of Duty 4 wasn't any better, and it really perplexes me as to why people really like the single player of Call of Duty 4, especially that fucking sniper mission. Everybody loves it. It's like a Call of Duty gamer's wet dream. I don't get it. Because the whole entire level of that is just, hey, follow your teammate. Do this, do that, look at how cool Hollywood badass you are. It's just dumb. It's seriously stupid. Uh, I, I'm sorry, you just bounced that grenade off your teammate's head right back at yourself. But, um, I've got not a whole lot to say there, because, you know, I have to agree for the most part. And then when you said serious military shooter, the first game that came to mind was, uh, Ah, oh, what is the name of that one? It's that third-person shooter that I keep meaning Spec to play. Spec Ops Online. That one. That one. Have you not beaten that yet? I haven't beaten it, but what I played so far, it just... It got me right here. It really <laughs> did. We need more games like that that you can take seriously. Because there's good character development. You never feel like you're forced into doing something. Uh, like when there is a quote-unquote moral choice, which really kind of doesn't play a part until the very end of the game. But you do have choices in that game that are, they're driven by emotion, basically. And you do make 
choices that, you know, feel like you should have some sort of consequence. And it's not just like a consequence that's like, oh, you won't get as much ammo the next fight, it's a consequence of, oh, hey, this person died and you killed someone. Yeah, and that... If you don't feel anything playing that game, you're either a cold-hearted bastard, or you're not old enough to understand. But <laughs> you can confirm as far as it goes for- fuck, I lost my sniper and didn't get to use it once. <laughs> um, you can confirm as far as I usually go, I'm pretty- I'm not gonna- okay, I'm, I'm gonna say emotionless when it comes right down to it. You're a cold-hearted bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mean. I'm reasonable with what I do. Oh, so dead. Oblivious. No <laughs> idea what that guy was doing. Probably just staring at his other teammates or my teammates. <laughs> um, no, I'm not really emotionless. Hello, body. <laughs> Ragdoll is fun in this game. I'm not really gonna say I'm emotionless, but I'm a bit realistic. If something is going to screw someone over, I take the lesser of the two evils. And, you know, I'll understand consequences for things I do, but... Oh, hello, entire enemy team being oblivious to where I am. <laughs> And hello, my entire team, not being oblivious to where they are. Uh, <laughs> I gotta say, though, like, the way that you deal with situations and, you know, life and whatnot, I admire it and I feel like I could be a bit more like you, because you don't let anything get to you, and it's, it's, I, I don't understand it. I don't, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> he got out, I didn't think he was gonna get out. <laughs> That was obviously the smart choice. Um, this kind of happens, and it's like, thanks to the comp and everything, but um, that happens when you get put, put into the spotlight a lot. Uh, a lot of people watch me, a lot of people say things about me. Eventually, you just get to a point where you don't care. Your own self-worth that you feel is directly affected by your own self-accomplishment. And I'm going to make sure shit gets done. 